So we're turning now onto Langothlin Canal or the Shropshire Union, Langothlin arm of the Shropshire Union Canal which we've done a few years ago but uh, looking forward to doing it again in the winter. Last time we came it was the summer time and it was absolutely heaving with boats and people so it's going to be different this time round. Looks like there's somebody coming down the locks. Now we're coming up. Are you? Oh, is it empty? I yeah. was. Oh, <laughs> so here we are on the Schlangothlin Canal, second lock of four here at Hurlston. Hurlston Reservoir is right next door to us, which feeds the Shropshire Union Canal. The water to fill that reservoir comes from 46 miles away, the River Dee, and it flows all the way down the Langothlin Canal for that whole distance and feeds this reservoir. So we've got, in effect, a flow of water coming against us all the way down, which will slow us down a little bit, I suppose. But uh, we're hoping today to get to, towards a village called Renbury. They've got a shop there. It's Friday, we're going to need uh, supplies for tomorrow and the weekend. We weren't going to move today, but uh, the temperatures tonight and tomorrow night are going to plummet down to minus four, minus five degrees centigrade. So we didn't fancy getting stuck in without any water. We've got to get water at the top of the locks as well. So we're on the move and it's a beautiful day, so why not? This is a feed from the canal into Hurlston Reservoir. Well, it looks like there's a bit of a fast bywash coming down the side of this lock. It's going to throw me over. Here we go. Thanks, Calamity. Well, we stopped couple of miles short of Renbury in a nice remote spot and this will do nicely for a few nights. So there you can see the bit of a flow we have on this canal but uh, we just remember that the chances are it won't freeze as it's flowing like this tonight so glad we moved now. Oh it's a gorgeous frosty start to the day look at that sky wow
Beautiful. We got down to about minus five degrees centigrade last night and uh, it meant for a beautiful start this morning frosty misty morning so we're heading now into the village of Renbury in Shropshire got a lift bridge to do so we've got the windlass for just ahead of us we've got to stop and get some uh, gas a bottle of gas and also fill up with water um, and then we'll probably stay in the village for a day or two and then we've got um, several locks to do ahead of us Grindley Brook, Grindley Brook flight which consists of six locks three of which is a staircase flight but uh, as I said, it's blooming cold. So uh, let's get this bridge done, warm up a bit. Are you warm enough? There's a hire boat coming through to the maintenance yard and we've got a boat behind us coming through as well who I just think you might recognise. Yep folks, it's Paul on Narrowboat Morning Star taking it nice and easy, even though we've got a queue of traffic behind us. Come on, Paul. Morning. Morning. Bit of a bump was that? Uh, yeah, I may have took my alcohol off a little bit. <laughs> it's the pressure of you watching this. <laughs> It's a really slow operation and unfortunately I've got a little queue of cars waiting to get through. Hopefully they'll be patient. It's a lovely setting, this uh, mill which is now a pub, the Dusty Miller, well it's been a pub for a long long time, uh, dates back to the 17th century. Well, it's a chilly start to the day. It's not as pleasant and sunny as it has been. We've had temperatures going down to minus four, minus five degrees centigrade at night. Uh, been very chilly indeed. It's now about freezing. We're on the move. We've been moored up behind us, just at the back there for three nights. Now we need some food and we need some water. So we're moving to the town of Whitchurch which has got everything we need except for water. So we're getting water at the top of the locks ahead of us. 
and we've got eight locks in all. We've got five ordinary locks and then at the end three um, staircase locks at Grindley Brook. So uh, all very exciting but uh, we've got to be ultra ultra careful today because I think it's still going to be slippy on and around the locks. So uh, just take it easy, steady as she goes. It's not just the cold, although it's cold enough to freeze all your whatnots off, but um, the bridges over the locks are icy. I don't know if all the locks have bridges, so you've then got to walk across the gate. Um, and it's just, I think it's ice under the snow, so you can't even see it necessarily. It looks like snow and it's just a sheet of ice underneath. It's uh, dodgy. Yeah. Safety first. We met a viewer who we had a chat with the other day by the side of the boat and he said it'd be a bit difficult to walk the towpath. So we said, nah, we're used to muddy towpaths. This has been closed for some time. So we got up to here and ventured a foot into it and it water went over the top of my walking boots. So yeah, he was right. So uh, thanks for the warning. But anyway, we haven't got wellies. We don't use Wellington boots because it's just another thing to store on the boat. And to be honest, they're no good for walking any distances in. And it's very rare you ever come across something as really bad as this. Well, that's the two locks done. So we decided we'll moor up at the bottom of the next flight and uh, sit it out for a few hours and if it melts this afternoon we'll move up but uh, it's not worth it at the moment it's too dangerous so uh, I'm just having a, a walk to the next bridge a bit of exercise six locks the first three are single locks like this and the last three are staircase locks and there are usually volunteers here during the summer uh, but not now so we're getting through on our own taking it steady the weather is a bit kinder than it was the other day all the ice and snow has gone and uh, makes for a much safer journey so we've been moored up for a few days now behind us and uh, here we go on with our journey. We're going just a mile ahead, which is to the town of Whitchurch, which is a lovely old town. And uh, Fran's got parcels to post. We're going to fill up with water there, explore the locality again. It's been about, I don't know, three years since we were here, maybe four. So looking forward to that. Friends operating the first three single locks and I shall get off and do the staircase while she drives the boat through. How's it going? It's good, it's a beautiful day and it's all good. I'm glad we didn't do it in the ice the other day. It's good then. these by washes where the excess water goes down are really fierce at the other end of the lock as you're coming in and uh, if I say if you're not careful they do throw the boat around no matter how much you uh, try and avoid them they will give the boat a little bit of a clattering as you enter the lock there's so much water going down after all the rain we've had uh, as I said before it feeds the um, Shropshire Union Canal from the River Dee at the top of the Langothlin Canal 
So there's a heck of a lot of water coming down now from Wales. And no matter how much I tried to compensate for that uh, flow of water, it still had me clattering into the lock. Very nice cafe on the right doing some very nice cakes. So these locks, there are no pounds in between. You have to check that the top two pounds are full and the bottom one is empty. Right, that's full. Let's check the next one up. Yep, that one is full too. So all I have to do now is go back, empty the bottom lock so Fran can come in. That's a long way down. This is taking a long time to equalize on account of there's a lot of water leaking in through the gates. very handsome lock keepers cottage built in 1806 That's our journey for today done. I think we've just got the best of the weather. Clouds have come over, it's gone very cold again and it looks like it might rain. Get the kettle on. Well, that's us for this year. And next time you see us, we'll be in Hlangothlan. Oh, you've got that off to a fine art now. <laughs> Hlangothlan.
So we're going to get down there, have a couple of days before Christmas, may stay there for Christmas, we might pop out and find somewhere quiet for Christmas itself. Um, but it's a lovely town to do our last few little bits of shopping, isn't it? And, um, and then we've got to get back over the aqueduct before it closes on the 2nd of January. That's the Ponte Casilti aqueduct. Well and then we've got all of the rest in the winter and spring to slowly, slowly make our way back yeah. along the Llangothlan Canal. <laughs> we have rushed this little last bit uh, just to get to Llangothlan. Uh, we're not there yet, but uh, we will be in a day or two. But all that's left to do is to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And special thanks to our patrons and members on YouTube. Uh, it's been fabulous. You've been so supportive. And yeah. everybody that's ever bought anything that we've made. Yeah, it really, it, it just makes all the difference to keeping us going. We couldn't carry on on the canal and doing what we're doing without that support, no, could we? it really does help. Um, yeah. So thank you so much. And thank you for everybody that watches the videos because that, has get, again, helps us. And, um, and for all your lovely messages. And we hope you have a wonderful Christmas, whatever you do. And we'll see you in the new year. So happy Christmas, happy new year. I hope it's a peaceful one and uh, Santa's good to you. <laughs> See you next year. Take care. Bye, Bye now.